and welcome to my YouTube channel, Nettie the Coder. Today we're going to be talking about Uscript keyword in JavaScript, what is Uscript and what is useful for. But before diving into the lecture, please make sure that you watch the previous lectures on JavaScript in order to follow along the tutorial and you learn and check out more of the JavaScript tutorial. Let's just dive into the lecture. The modern mode, Ustrict. What is Ustrict? JavaScript evolved without compatibility issues, features were added to the language while old functionality didn't change, which had the benefit of never breaking existing code. So, for example, if we, you know, the, the, the creator of JavaScript added more and more features into that, but that didn't have any com compatibility issues and, you know, and the old functionality still worked. The downside was that any mistake or an imperfect decision made by the JavaScript's creator got stuck in the language forever. There was a, that was the case until 2009 when the ECMAScript file, ES5, appeared. So ECMAScript is basically versioning our versions of JavaScript that we, every year we get a new version of JavaScript and we have some new features. It added new features to the language and modified some of the existing ones. So it also made some changes in the existing codes uh, and new uh, existing features of the, uh, the, um, the, the language and also added some new features. To keep the old code working, the new modifications are off by default. It needs to be explicitly enabled with the use of use strict. So in order to make use of, you know, the, the new features, uh, and you, for example, you want to use the new features, so the old features, if you don't uh, need to use old features, you can just enable the new features by using the use strict keyword. Uh, the use strict uh, is basically located on top of the page and the whole scripts work the modern way if it is located if you have specified for example i have this script tag and i want to use some new features on javascript and the new features of javascript what i have to do is to specify the use strict on top of the code i cannot specify it before after this or you know at the end of the code I cannot do that because it will not apply to the code where I want to. So make sure that you apply it on top of the script tag or if you are using some external JavaScript over here, for example, in here. So make sure that you specify it at the top of the file. So in this way, it will enable um, the newer version of JavaScript for you, the new features that has been introduced into JavaScript and you can make use of that. For example, Ustrict, okay, browser console also doesn't use Ustrict by default. So yeah, if you want to also enable the use, uh, the, the new feature of JavaScript in the browser console, uh, you can just write Ustrict in the browser. You'll have to explicitly define it in the console. Advanced language structures like classes and modules enables it by default. So for example, if you're dealing with the classes and you know, advanced features of the language, and then you don't have to explicitly specify use strict keyword on top of the the the, the file or you know and within the script tags, uh, it will be enabled for you automatically. And the next lectures, as we learn new language features, we'll see the differences between the strict and old mode. So we'll talk about what what new features are enabled and what old feature we cannot use with the use strict. Uh, luckily, there aren't many and they actually make our lives better. So yeah, that will be easier. This is the end of this lecture. It's a short uh, lecture on, you know, what is use strict and how we can use it and how, it's, how it makes difference uh, in the, between the, the newer version of JavaScript and the old ones. So I hope you have learned something new in this video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to press the bell icon for future updates. And until then, I'll see you in the next lecture.